Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. We're here in Araya, hunting down Lindo Flamese. Rupa's for me. And this thing is gonna die real quickly. Don't be afraid, friends! Poppy is more blady than real friends! Lindo Flummy egg. We got one. So there's two kinds of flamies. There's the reddish Lindo Flamese and the bluish Rebra Flamese. Let's see if I can get it to come to me. Don't be afraid, friends! Got another one, excellent. Let's see, so there's a couple more down there. There's one right there. I'm on a roll. Poppy is so now reliable. Gets interesting. Dora is so grateful. That is because Master Pond treats Poppy so well. All right, that's three so far. I don't Dora, believe it's a guaranteed drop. Agriculture is Poppy's specialist me. field. Isn't I know it more than I let on. Stuff right out of the ground. I don't believe it's a guaranteed drop. I think I've just gotten really lucky that so far they've all dropped one. Sora will beat them, no problem! Steady beam! Slash. Wow, okay. They really have all dropped one. Alright, I don't see any more around here. Dora, just take a peek here. Yeah. Agriculture is Poppy's Leave it specialist field. I know it more than I let all on. This stuff right out of the ground. Considering that's an agronomy point, I'm getting a lot of rocks and fish from it. Okay, I believe that's all of the flamies. Looks like all of them. All right. And I have four of the five I need. So we just skip travel right back to the same place where we are now and that will cause them all to respawn. Off we go. Where to, Master Pond? Do you want to stop staring at me? Or what? I wasn't looking, honest. You just keep entering my field of vision, is all. I wasn't paying attention. Did it drop one? It did not. Okay. So, yeah, like I said, they're not guaranteed drops. Apparently, they're really high probability, but not guaranteed. Dora will beat them, no Give it all you got. When am I going to actually see this Eye of Shining Justice? Uh, someday. The Eye has to, uh, charge a bit longer. <laughs> Yes, yeah, someday, he says. Leave it to Tora. And for good measure. Let's keep our heads in the game. Eyes front thunder to me. Go stare at Pandoria instead. 
I'm just making sure the power of the Aegis is being used correctly. Maybe the agriculture's part of the specialist field. I know more than I let all this stuff right out of the ground. Thunder dweeb. That sounds like something a five-year-old would say. Dora will beat them, no problem! Bond, target locked. Can you set Stop on Dora on fire! The Zekinator is on fire! Now it gets interesting. Okay, so both Tora and Zeke are on fire. And uh, Rex thinks that's pretty interesting. I guess that would be interesting. I suppose that's uh, an accurate word for it. Well then. So that's all for the Lindo Flamies again. And now I have seven eggs. Which is two more than I actually need. For this quest at least. I wonder if there's anything else they're used for. Well that doesn't really matter. Let's get back to the city. At least it doesn't really matter right now. I guess I could look it up. Let's go. Come out, come out, bad guys! And even though it's daytime, it's playing the nighttime theme thanks to the weather. All right, uh, Brabe. Is it Brabe or is it Brabe? Well, whichever it is, we have the stuff. You have? Have you got some, the ingredients? Okay, let's bake some Wellsman cookies. Right. So, yeah, that looks like everything. So, does that give me ten items, or is it just one item that each equal ten? Let's check real fast. Okay, yeah, it actually gives me... 10 of the key items. Welzeman cookie. Description. Children love the strong and handsome face of Welzeman on this cookie. Anyway, one more. Oh ho, they came out alright. Kids will be pleased as anything. Ah yeah, something smells good. So you really made them. We did. Well, look great, don't they? I'll have you know, cookies are a cinch for someone like me. It would have gone smoother if you didn't insist on eyeballing the measurements. Hey, come on, you promised you wouldn't tell. Ha ha ha. Oh yeah, since you're already here, how about you try one and tell me what you think? Huh? Are you sure? You didn't poison them, did you? Should we have? No, you shouldn't. Don't joke about that. And if you do, at least make it obvious you're joking. <laughs> anyway, no poison there, so dig in. I will if I may. Down the hatch. Well, they died from the poison. Ooh. No, apparently not. Delicious. They're just how I like them. I'd call them passable. Great. Hear that theory? They're passable. That's not half bad for first time, eh? Eh? That sense of self-satisfaction will be a barrier to growth. Oh, give me a break. A little praise never hurt anyone. Beg to differ. Anyway, we got the go-ahead as well now. Um, okay, that came out. That sounded kind of weird when I said... Anyway, we got the go-ahead as well now. So let's hand out those Welsman cookies. Exactly. Time to make the kids of Fonta Mima grin from ear to ear. Roger that. Let's go, Theory. Fine. Okay, so, there's a whole bunch of markings on the compass now. And I'm pretty sure they're all in Fonsamima. I don't think I have to go out there to the farms. Marshy! Here, have a Welsman cookie. Theory and Praxis made them. A Welsman cookie! Gimme, give gimme give quick, miss! Welcome. There's another one up 
there. Okay, Menda. Here, have a Wellsman cookie. No promises about the taste, though. You give me a Wells you'll give me a Wellsman cookie. Score. I guess Zenobia likes to swim. My knob on chest set broke. I found it on the street, so it's not like it was in perfect shape to begin with. But proper ruin now. Well, I guess we got a lot of use out of it for something we got for free. Now, I'm not going to let this get me down, you know. I'll just enjoy myself fishing instead. But my pal I always played it with, he's getting pretty depressed. So I figure I better catch a big one and hope it cheers my friend right up. Hang on, is that... That's a Nopon chest set. It's made of coral leaf. Wait, I never gave it to him? I thought I did that a while ago. Wow, I'm really jealous. Those only came out just recently. Give him the Nopon chest set? Sure. Really? I can have it? Wow, thanks! My dad's a soldier, so he never comes home lately. And my mom won't give me any pocket money because she wants to save up cash in case war breaks out. And I mean, we live on Torque Alley, so we were never exactly well off to begin with. Seriously, thanks for this. Me and my pal will treasure it forever. I thought I gave that to him. In fact, I'm absolutely certain I gave that to him. Maybe because I happen to have another one in inventory? Thanks for the Nopon chess set. Whenever I'm at home, I'm always playing it with that mate I told you about. It's pretty well made. I bet it'll last a lifetime. My mate's really smart though, so I really gotta think about my tactics. I gotta do my best to win. I feel like I'd be letting him down as a friend if I didn't. Okay, Jix has something to say. But of course, I don't have Nim out. Right. There she is. I've been sharpening my fangs for this day to come. Oh, would you mind having a chat? There's a treasure barrel up there. I'm practically the only urban phonics you'll find here in Araya. I hear we're all over the place, even on Argentum, where there's not a tree in sight. And here I thought that the phonics on the outside were all country bumpkins. I suppose the kids in Argentum think the same of me. Well, that's a bit irritating. I'll have to pay a visit to Argentum one day. A treasure trove up there. How do I get to it? Hmm. I have to drop down from the top, I'm pretty sure. But where to do that from? That's going to be a bit of a challenge to figure out. Ready for departure, Master. Alright, let's get the rest of these cookies squared away. Osco. Wells a cookie? For me? If it's not delicious, you can bet my mum will hear about this. That's fine, your mum doesn't know who we are, I suspect. When did it get so late? Don't worry, I'll protect you from the scary dark. Let's see, it looks like there might be one down here. Ah. I haven't eaten a proper meal in four old days. Surely you can spare a little grub for poor old me. I, I'm sorry, we worked hard to get our hands on these rations ourselves. I can't just hand them over. What did you say? That does it, I'm taking them by force. Trying to assault an unarmed woman, have you no shame? Well, who are you guys? You're bothering these people. If you leave quietly, we won't hurt you. What do you know about my trouble? Don't talk to me. don't talk like you're all so superior. Step back, you two. This won't take long. Uh, all right. Family versus fiends. I guess that's usually family versus friends, but I don't want to set this as the active quest. It won't take that long. You think a driver could find work more easily? Why not? Good. 
cosmos! The enemy is not to be underestimated. It would be kind of hard to underestimate him. Our normal estimation would... Uh, show how weak he is compared to us. Thank you so much. I'll never forget the debt I owe you. Hey, Terry. Everything should be fine now. Thanks for taking care of that scary man. But here's the thing. You got a Wellsman cookie for me, too? Wow, thanks. I'll have it with my mom. Okay. You took care of the mercenary and saved Marin and Terry. <laughs> Sounds a lot like Marin and Terran. They both seem very grateful for your help. Okay. Yeah, if I'd set that one as the active quest, then as soon as I was done with it, it would have gone back to the main story quest instead of this distribute the cookies quest. Okay, let's see here. That's near the place where that barrel is to be found. Hmm. Uh, I don't think I can get there from here. I think I need to get to that balcony over there. Which means coming from even further up. Okay, so it says that there's nearby. Uh, hmm. Not over here, it would seem. Down there, perhaps? Seesaw? Treasure. Very nice. Common core crystals and money. Alrighty. Mama. Friends bring seesaw materials for make booster cylinder. This business again. Okay, this isn't a Wellsman cookie thingy. that. Rennell. That must be one. The person who I'm after. Can I stir up some wind? Poppy boosters engaged! Alright, here we go. Here, have a Wellsman cookie, blah blah blah. Why, well, hey, your Wellsman looks cool and also very yummy. Thank you. Alright, looks like there are five more. And they're all at a higher elevation. So that means... How to get out of here. How do I do that? This way. Okay. I would think V would want one, but it's not letting me give her one. Mulba, okay. Here, I have a Wellsman cookie, blah blah. This cookie's got a weird face. Is this what common kids eat? Do you think it'll have any effect on my palate? Common kids? Huh. How about Iona? No, she doesn't want one either, it would appear. I would think she would deserve one, really. After everything we inadvertently put her through. 
All right, well, where was the dock? There. Okay, uh, let's go. Oh, I didn't want to go that far down. Okay. Well, there's another treasure trove here. Very nice. Opening protocol engaged. Let's clear this up quick. Erasing. Archive match found. I've got it all under control. It is good to dwell on the past from time to time. Right. Just another common core crystal and knockback resist too. Okay, there's the barrel. Ah, made it! Yes! Very nice! Poppy power! Whoa! Leave Napon to Poppy! I know this. I'm an expert on all things Napon. Makes sense for Cassandra, since her previous driver was a Napon. Okay. That was neat. I got two treasure troves for the price of one, you might say. Okay, uh, up here. Back past the theater and further up. Ha, huh, Jeline. Here, have a Wellsman cookie. A Wellsman cookie? I'm sorry, I couldn't possibly take one just for myself. Oh yeah? My beloved Sean went off to the land of the beaten and hasn't come back. I'm so worried that something might have happened to him. Leave it to the Zekonator. Really? I'd be so grateful. Jeline and Sean. Land of the Beaten, huh? I know where that is. And Jammy, huh? Wellsman cookie for you? If you do not want, that okay. Tori, eat instead. A Wellsman cookie for me? Sorry, I don't feel like one right now. That nasty janky stole my favorite treasure from me. Without my treasure, I don't feel like eating anything. Leave it to me. Thanks. I think Janky was headed over toward Laska's Gap. Boys and bullies. Alright, so that's two side quests for this. And there are two more markings on the compass. Let's see if I can find them before I go running off somewhere. Rees. Wellsman cookie for you? You're giving me a Wellsman cookie? Hmm, smells nice, thanks. Alright, and now one more. Looks like it's down at the port. Pretty far out here, too. Aha! Men? Seamen? No, it won't be that one. Wellsman cookie? A Wellsman cookie for me? I really shouldn't. I was about to go home for dinner. I think she probably took it anyway. Alright, so I got two side quests that I gotta take care of for this. Let's Skip travel back up to the Holy Gate of Fontana. That's the uh, closest skip travel point Off we go. to the Land of the Beaten, too, Master Pond. which is down here. To be more precise, it's down there. Off the side. Uh, I have to go fairly far down the staircase to get a safe jumping spot. Hmm. 
Let's see. Uh, okay. Right about here. The water is deep enough that I can jump over the side. Lots of urchons hanging around. And also Sean. Are you Sean? Yeah, that's me. Who are you guys? Jeline asked us to look for you. Really? I came here to find a crystal camellia to show Jeline. But then I got chased by monsters and I couldn't find my way back. Don't worry. We'll take you back to the city. Okay. Hee hee hee. It's like you're a big sister too now, Theory. I... I didn't mean to be like... Anyway, let's head back. Sure, sure. Alright, and then collection point while Dora, we're here. Just take a peek here. Flora heals an aching soul. Please open soul. your hearts to me. Lots of bugs from a botany point. All right, back up to the Holy Gate of Fontana, I do believe. We're here. Let's get going. That's who we're looking for right there. Thanks for helping me. I thought I might never see Jolene again, so I was so happy when I did. I think I love her even more now. Pretty young, but... Uh, I guess... Age doesn't matter too much when you found your true love and all. Thanks to you guys, Sean made it back safe and sound. Thank you! Well, we sorted that one out good and proper. Yeah, can we do a mission with more terrifying enemies to fight next time, though? So do you still have any of those Wellsman cookies? Yes, yes. Thanks, I'll eat it together with Sean. Okay. Sean has been safely brought back. Next time, let's show the couple how to make the cookies you gave them. Uh, well, okay, I guess we could. Although, considering that it was our first attempt, we're probably not going to be the best teachers of it. <laughs> well, anyway. Hey, could you tell me how to make one of those cookies sometime? I could, I'd like to bake them some for Sean myself. That Wellsman cookie was really tasty. I think I'll try to bake some too as a present for Jolene. Ah, so they're both thinking of baking. I can get behind that. Okay, then there was that final thing with the bully who I believe was... Let's see... Out here somewhere... Losca's Gap? Is that what they said? Where's Losca's Gap? Hmm... Oh! Right there! Okay! Then yeah, Stonegate Ruins. That's where we want to go. Mama, off we go! Where to, Master Pawn? Mosca's Gap. I think it's down here. Hmm. Is this the right place? Pretty much, yeah. Okay. Where is he exactly? I didn't set this little quest as active, so I don't have a mark on the compass. Hmm. I doubt he would be across here. I was about to say, because what if we don't have someone who can form the ice bridge? But we have to have theory at this point. She has ice mastery, doesn't she?
Yeah, she does. Okay. So yeah, we could have Theory do it. Yeah, but I'm still not seeing him. Hmm. Dora, just take a peek here. In my experience. This is Oscar's Gap. And this is where that kid said he was going. Hmm. Up there, perhaps. Or maybe down there? Oops! I didn't actually want to go down here. I just wanted to look to see if he was down there. I'm not seeing him. Hmm. Can I stir up some wind? Poppy boosters engaged. Ha! And up we go. Me, me, me. Oh. Uh, no, the kid we're looking for is not up here. Okay, well, that other kid said he was heading towards Laska's Gap. I guess that doesn't necessarily mean he came to Laska's Gap. Let's go around towards the quarry and see if he's gone this way. Uh, no, he's not back here. Well... Dora, just take a peek In here. my experience. As long as I'm checking out the little cul-de-sac, I might as well pick up the collection point. Oh, there we go. Janky. That's an interesting name. You're Janky, right? Give back that treasure you stole from Jammy. What's your problem, old lady? Oh, old lady? Don't pay him any mind. He's only a brat. Shut up, you big creep. I hope all your hair falls out. Why, you little... Who do you think you're calling a creep? Oh, you're so in for it now. Anyway, stealing from people is bad. You want to be a common thief? Shut up. If you're really not going to give it back, you leave me no choice. I'll be forced to unleash my eye of shining justice. Say what? Eye of Shining what? If I remove this eye patch, my divine eye will seek out any bad little boys and seal them away, never to return. Ha! <laughs> ha! As if I'm going to believe a ridiculous lie like that. If you're so sure I'm lying, shall we find out? You may not live to regret it. Alright, fine. I'll give them back. You satisfied? Now don't go stealing from people anymore, do you hear? The Eye of Shining Justice always knows where to find you. Alright already. I won't steal stuff, I promise. Damn, your eye of shining justice is even cooler than mine. <laughs> Jammy's mud balls. Mud balls, really? That's what this was all about? Balls of mud? <sighs> even the darkest night is followed by a dawn. Okay, what fearsome creatures are we fighting today? Okay, seriously. Is Janky cowering from us or from those Ignas back there? <laughs> I'm not going to steal anything, so keep that eye of shining justice under wraps, you hear? I guess he's cowering from us. Okay then. Well, back to the city. I'm sure Jammy was up here. Yep, Where there he is. Here you go. Ah, it's my treasure. Thank you. Now I might have the appetite for one of those Welderman cookies. Thanks so much, really. Not too difficult. You brought Jamie's treasure back to him from Janky the Bully. Jamie seems really happy. Approach Vio and Vero in the Uriah Commercial District. Alright then. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. Oh. 
board game shop over there. I have a terrible urge to call it a pawn shop. Well, got that out of my system. Ah, I missed. Okay, so we need to talk to the boys again, who I believe are up here. Wow, who are all these? Janky, Jammy, Kimmin, Osco, Terry, you know, all the kids I gave cookies to, I guess. know it's in working order. I... I was smiling? It's like you got really into it there and a smile just crept over your face, all natural-like. Hey, Theory, why don't you go check on Praxis? No, I'm good right now. Come on, you've both been putting a nose into the grindstone. Go celebrate together. I didn't really do anything. It was all thanks to Praxis. She just doesn't give up. And it's got all the town folk smiling. Nah, it's thanks to both of you. It's like he says. I think Praxis doesn't give up because of you, Theory. It's thanks to that synergy that exists between you that the townsfolk are smiling. Siblings have a duty to look out for each other, and amplify each other. This is what's happening here. So, the two of us... Theory! Come over here! Let's all enjoy ourselves! Just go! Okay. I guess I'll have to. My sister gets a bit lonely if I leave her alone for too long. Hey, what are you saying? I can manage by myself. Hang on, did you just call me sister? I didn't. You great big liar! I didn't! Hey, come on! You know we're about to start. Yeah, quick, quick! Hey, call me sister again! I don't know what you mean. Okay. Relatively short one. But it's not, you know, an isolated blade quest. It's part of a much larger plot line. Anyway, theory and practice complete. Theory and practice make themselves helpful to the townsfolk to atone for their past misdeeds. Okay. So, Praxis got Geyser Spring, and Theory got her level 3 key affinity. This sounds fun! She's almost done. Defeat Soul Eater Stanley in the land of Moritha, and raise affinity in combat. Each day, I'm a little better. Okay. Theory likes board games, does she? Oh, what is Rex's current pouch items? Hmm. 
Hardy Cordeth Puran. Hmm. Welp. I've got quite a few of them. And the other one, the hot ruby steamed bun. Alright, well. Theory likes board games. Okay, Nopon chess set. This is not the worst. And then clatter tongue. This is not the worst. And that gets her steadfast level one. If anyone tries to harm you, they're dead. Okay, let's see. And vegetables to improve focus, huh? All right, let's uh, feed her four veggies. Pickled ice cabbage. Arts recharge. How much was that compared to the bread? Same amount. 0.3 arts recharge. And then HP damage barrier and physical damage down. HP recovery and ether damage down. Uh, kind of meh in comparison, in my opinion. Well, let's not waste it for the arts recharge. Let's use this other stuff. Are you sure it's for me? Green cheese salad. Are you sure it's for me? Liberian chowder. Are you sure it's for me? And sour spark on a stick. Are you sure it's for me? Okay. True growth happens when you clear your mind of distractions. That'll do to be going on with, I think. And now... One more heart to heart. To really finish out their story. This time in Gormont. Let's replace Rex's pouch item. Back to the hearty Cordeth Puran. And off to Gormont. Let's see. It was Lida Oasis. Oh yeah, there it is on the map right there. To Mastapon. Where to is over here. Should be over there. Yep, there it is. Okay, and as usual, we need to see both options. Okay, 
Let's take a look. Hey, come on, Fury, this way. Don't rush me, sis. The scenery isn't going anywhere. Don't be silly. What if we miss some kind of amazing moment? Come on, get moving. <sighs> Praxis looks dead excited, huh? Yeah. Well, I mean, she's getting a bit carried away, if you ask me. Honestly, I wish she'd calm down a bit. You say that, but you're having a good time too. Am I wrong? Do you think so? I suppose you might be right. I've got to spend plenty of time with Praxis lately. That's always good. I really like being with her. Yeah, that's a pretty big turnaround, isn't it? Okay. I want to make sure I remember which is the better. Uh, let's see. Give me just a moment, viewers. Okay, so option one is the best one for trust. So we'll see option two first, and then make option one canonical to the save file. I guess you really get each other now. You think so? Sometimes I'm not sure. I still don't feel like I know everything about her. And I'm sure she doesn't always get everything about me. But she said something once. She told me, we may not have any memories, but it's no use worrying about what we don't have. If we know nothing about each other's past, that just means we have a clean slate for the future. Every moment we spend together now is a new memory for us to share. <laughs> Deep stuff coming from her, but somehow that's Praxis all over. Exactly, and that's why, that's why the time I spend with her is so special to me. And at the same time, my driver is important to me, too. I couldn't be more grateful to you for bringing us back together. Hey, Theory! What are you up to? Quit getting all cozy with your driver and get over here already! Cozy? What's that supposed to mean? Come on, over here! Look, quickly! Hey, you too! Let's check it out! This is gonna be a memory for all three of us to treasure. Yeah, it's kind of a fast turnaround when you do it all at once like this. But, you know, it does show, you know, the character building. And overall, it's just a you know, a really good exploration of what blades have to go through given the you know the conditions that they live under basically being slaves of their core crystals and the residents from them and the issues that sometimes arise from that all right well we've seen the first part the first version let's go view the canonical version now viewers i'll be right back Okay, here we are. So, we viewed the second option. Now let's view the, uh, what's going to be canonical option. You're like real sisters, aren't you? You think so? It's hard for me to tell, personally. It's just, well, you know how she's constantly acting before she thinks? I'm always so nervous for her. I can't leave her alone for a moment. Yet somehow... I don't feel like that's a bad thing. It's always kind of fun to be around her. I reckon you've always got each other on the mind. I'd say she thinks about you a lot too. I guess you're right. 
Maybe that's what being sisters is about. But Praxis is the older one, yet it's me who seems to be worrying about her. <laughs> yeah, but she wouldn't be Praxis otherwise, would she? Hey, Theory! What are you up to? Quit getting all cozy with your driver and get over here already! Cozy? What's that supposed to mean? Come on, over here! Look, quickly! Hey, you too! Let's check it out! This is gonna be a memory for all three of us to treasure. Yeah, she's really warmed up a lot. And, you know, like I said, it does kind of seem like sh she developed really quickly. But still. Also, I imagine that if I'd done the whole Praxis and Theory quest earlier, then this probably wouldn't have been available so quickly. And there might have been more time between each segment. Well, oh, I didn't want to open the skip travel menu. Each day, I'm a little better. Okay. Yeah. Considering how little trust she has so far, she's gotten all the way pretty far up her key affinities. Right then. So, defeat Dusty Ricks again. We sure killed a lot of those poor things. You'd think we'd have depopulated them by now. And speak to an Oppon. Defeat Coastal Sovereigns, huh? Hmm. Okay, well, there is one other thing I want to do. Oh, just come up right here. Didn't have to go all the way around the bridge. I didn't even realize that there was a ramp. Oh well. So while I'm here, there's actually something else I've, that pretty much just suddenly occurred to me. There are those giant blue birds that stop by the water, like that guy right there. And I've been avoiding them all this time because they're level 70 something. Level 76 right there. Well now that I'm level, what, 69? 68. I should be able to take them now. I want to try it. I'm not that. There we go. Meh, meh, meh. They look tough. Yeah, Poppy and they Thunderbolt do. Zeke have your back. Meh. Break it, break it. Act coordinated. Spirits at 120% stabilization. Poppy is more than... Wow. Wow. I expected it to be at least a bit tougher than that. I mean, uh, I'm just kind of standing here boggled at how easy that was. Huh? Uh, well. Hmm. Well, I have a bit of time left in this episode. Sure, let's go murder those dusky reeks. <laughs> let's see here. Okay, we start here, and then go back along this tunnel, and I'll find four of them right away. Whew. Let's rest the spell. Let's get going. And then just a bit further along from there, I think there's like three or four more that'll spawn 
in a little cul-de-sac. Aspar will ignore me if it knows what's good for it, and yep, here's some dusky ricks. Leave it to Tora. Let's keep our heads in the game. Lucky break. Nothing Good man. Eyes front thunder dweeb. Go stare at Pandoria instead. I'm just making sure the power of the Aegis is being used correctly. Can't even get off that first special. Don't be afraid, friends. Uh oh, I think I aggroed the snake. What? What pushed me out of the way? Okay, Cosmos got something. And she still wants me to kill those bunnets. I keep forgetting that. Don't be afraid, friends. Time to seek All right, one more of those kitty cats. There should be a few of them in here. Yep, there they are. Dora will beat them, no problem! Poppy will put on the what you really got. Modifications working out Let me do it. Oh. Dinner is served. It Dinner toppled itself. Next. And I launched it by accident. I know more than I let on. All this stuff right out of the ground. All right, so. Cosmos got something there. Support systems upgraded. Okay, yeah, there we go. Spanner Bunnet for Light Mastery. I don't really need Light Mastery, but... Well, I do want to finish out as much of her affinity chart as I can. I'll protect you to the maximum of my ability. All right. Okay. Really quickly, let's go murder some spanner bonnets. Let's see more Ardain. I think if we go to Kadeg Gate, we'll be fairly close to a few. Meh, meh. No, not that Long way. journeys way. make Dora tired. Where to, Master Pond? There's a slightly closer skip travel point, and I'll have to remember that. So, spanner bonnet. That should be a spanner bonnet right there, because it has a spanner in its tail. Leave it to Tora! What in the right this way? And one of the sandy bunnets decided to take a piece of me also. Okay. 
Are there any more around here? Hmm. There might be, but... Well, let's not worry about that. Let's just uh, skip travel back to Medoro Bridge. And that'll respawn the two I just uh, murdered. I can murder them again. Let's go. Come out, come out, bad guys! Okay, there they are. Dora, turn them to mushy mush. Turtus could handle this by himself, couldn't you, mate? That's the spirit, everyone. Dora will beat them, no problem. Attack, just watch your steps. Finally got serious. I've got it well in hand. Okay, man. All right, that's four. I believe I need five. Uh, poor Cosmos. I kept on saying that she needed this and that I kept forgetting. Let's go. Come out, come out, bad guys. Don't be afraid, friends. Target locked. Steady! Rolling smash! Just the beam. Alrighty. Finally got that done. Output increased. Excellent, excellent. And now all she wants to do is use her specials, and uh, who knows what that is. Defeat Garof Sovereigns. Hmm. Welp, I think that's just about enough for this episode. So. Let's head on back here. And uh, finish things off. Viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Let's Let's Chronicles 2. Let's get going. In the next episode, we are finally, finally going to make more progress here in the World Tree. Technically, I made a little bit of more progress last episode, but I didn't take that very far, did I? We'll go back up there and continue on with the actual story. It's been a long time coming, but, you know, we're finally getting back to that next episode. See you then.